Beatrice Gandhi finds tears as she recounts how associates of her late husband colluded to defraud her of land following his death. The widow and mother of seven says she battled in court for eight years to regain her land. It's a big problem for us women. You can't own your land because you are a widow. You keep being told that the land is not yours, yet you have lived there for years. So I plead with our president to help us so that we can own our lands. Kenya, like many African countries, has strong laws that guarantee women's rights to land ownership. But many women still face obstacles before they can exercise these rights. Having contributed to the development of some of these laws, Senior Counsel Judy Tongori says there is still a long way to go. As somebody says, the more things change, the more they remain the same. So that even as the laws are in place, there is still a continuous struggle by women to access property, by women to access justice, yes, in property matters. For those who are in the large sector, I think one of the assignments that we should undertake is to ensure that we have the right statistics so that we know what do women actually own. And then we can be able first to protect that and then to move on to make sure that the figures rise uh, beyond the 2% that we know. Most women in Africa, like Kigandi, work in agriculture to produce for their families and the community. But they still have trouble accessing their legal and social rights to land ownership. A global women's land rights campaign dubbed Stand for Her Land is championing for these rights. We need to invest more in transforming some of these norms, in transforming some of these practices and make them more progressive so that we can move to the next level, so that we can eradicate poverty, so that we can have increased food security, so that we can have gender equality, but also very importantly, so that we can have climate resilience. The Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, estimates that closing the gender gap on land ownership could increase the yields on women-owned farms by 20 to 30 percent and reduce the number of hungry people by 100 to 150 million people. It is desperate. It is drastic. Some people just give up and live in their own situation. And you know what happens? The next generation, then that woman's next generation, and, and the likely one, the one after, they will not go to school. So they remain in that basic level of poverty. While more countries have made progress putting in place policies and laws guaranteeing women's land rights, advocates say more work is needed before women like Beatrice Kigandi can enjoy their rights. Juma Majanga, OVA News, Nairobi.